What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we got our hands on the brand new PS5 Slim. You know it's funny, it doesn't actually say Slim anywhere, but it's the slimmer, smaller version. So today we're gonna unbox this, talk about everything that's different. And we also got the vertical stand. Uh, this one is sold separately. It's a little special, looks a little different. So we'll get into that too. All right, so we got our little unboxing knife, but quick look around the box. I'm um, honestly, it's not that much different. Back, we've got some titles, of course. It says PS5 on the side, show you the console on the other side. Let's get into it. All right, up top, power cable. Ah, yes. We've got these little guys. We'll talk more about these a little bit later. We've got our USB-C to C cable and our HDMI cable. All right, next up, we've got the controller. So your typical DualSense controller here, nothing to write home about. Oh man, hold up. You can immediately tell this is, it's a super light. It, this is this is lighter. I mean, we've also got some paperwork included. You got your quick start guide, safety guide. Oh snap, this is in color. Now these are actually worth looking into because if you're not familiar with the PS5, uh, it actually shows you in here how to upgrade the SSD, which is actually a pretty big deal, as well as how to take off the disk drive, which is now a feature. We'll get into that, but these now have those details for those who aren't as experienced. But all right, here's what we all came for. Let's unveil this guy. Here it is, the PS5 Slim. I like it. Is it's it shinier? So the top part, so there's four panels now instead of the two. There's two at the bottom and there's two up top, but now the top has a glossy finish. I like the, listen, yeah. I like this. I don't mind that at all. Now me personally, I kind of like Sony's design choices when it comes to like the original PS5, even this. The one thing I will say I'm not crazy about is the glossy finish. I don't know, I like everything to be cohesive. I would have liked it to be either all glossy or all this matte kind of finish. But who knows, Sony might drop some new plates. Maybe they'll offer an all glossy look or maybe all matte look if you want to switch it up. They'll definitely have color since we know Sony likes to do that. Uh, but who knows, different faceplate options might be a thing. So let's take a quick look around it, right? So we've got two USB-C ports in the front. Before there used to be a USB-C and a USB-A. And in the back, we've got two USB-A ports, our LAN port, HDMI or ethernet port, HDMI, and your power. I think the only issue with the A ports now being all in the back is if you have like a wired controller that isn't on USB-C, now you're gonna have to, instead of putting it in the front, kind of have it running from the back. That'll eat up some cable length, so that's probably the only downside. But what else is here? Oh snap, we've got the uh, triangle circle X square logo down here at the bottom. That's kind of dope. We have a physical power button on the uh, disk drive. I am all for that because, you know what? Let's get the other PS5. Okay, so this guy is the original. Dang. That's a big difference. The dimensions are quite different and it actually doesn't protrude as much too. So if you have it like this, this is not a position that a PS5 should be in, but you can see that it doesn't come out as much either. So if you have this thing in your entertainment setup, uh, this will have a much easier time fitting in. Now the little collar thing that it's got going on over here, they also shrunk that down a bit. Okay, so we've got the original with the disc. Got it in black, but it should be fine. <laughs> Oh man, big difference in weight here. But okay, let's talk about some of the other stuff that we've got going on with this. So now let's talk about these two guys over here. So these are actually horizontal stands that go inside of the little crack right here. Pop one here and the other one over here. And this is the way the stand works. That's fine. I see why they put this here. So this is like another little foot for it to rest on. Those, uh, the PlayStation logos. Yeah, the drive itself does not touch the surface that it's on because of those feet. Now we do have the optional vertical stand. So let's take a look at this one too. This is much cleaner than the previous version. So I'm all for it. So the little cap that goes over here sits right in this spot. And then this uh, more raised hole is what lines up with the PS5. What is this piece for? All right, so this is where instructions matter. We figured out how to use this thing. So this works with both the older and the new slim model. 
Uh, this is an adapter for the older model, but without it, you can use it on the slim. But okay, so that's kind of cool. So this vertical stand works with both models. So if you want to switch it up, maybe you don't like the stand that the original one came with, you can grab this. But real quick, let's take off the plates. Now, I always struggle with taking off the plates for the PS5. I don't know why. So normally it's like a push down or maybe it's a pull up. Okay, that's not too bad. And this is our disc drive. Now you see all these screws and it might look crazy, but right here on this side, let's see, how do you... <laughs> that is extremely simple. But yeah, this is it. And this is the connector for the drive. I'm not sure what kind of connection that is, but it's super simple to get into. So just put the line those up. And then boom, you're done. So without the disc drive, this thing's even lighter. Oh my gosh. Now that's the disk drive, but we also gotta check out the spot for the SSD. All right, Klaus, check it out. This right here is where you upgrade your SSD. And it's really simple. All you have to do is unscrew this. And once you pop this out, you get access to the bay for it. So over here, I've got the Samsung 990 with the heat sink. So if you're upgrading your PlayStation, you're gonna want a heat sink to be on your SSD. They sell them with that. So if you're ever looking for it, Make sure it says heat sink. And this is a dope looking SSD, I'm not gonna lie. So there's a couple things you're gonna wanna do, right? You're gonna wanna take this screw out because you're going to need it for your SSD to make sure that it can rest with no problem once you hook it up. We're gonna put this here. So ours is gonna use this hole right here, right? So we'll just move this little piece from 110 to 80 since that's the length for this guy. And now all we do is plug it in, then we screw this guy back in. And boom, SSD installed. And that's pretty much everything the average consumer is gonna wanna check out with the PS5. Like, I'm not doing a teardown, you guys. Not gonna happen. This is as much as you'll get from me in terms of opening it up. And I mean, boom, that's pretty much it. This is our PS5 Slim. We have to take a look at the optional disk drive, how to put in an SSD. And I mean, we won't be able to do much more until maybe new face plates come out and we can switch up the colors. But so far, I am not mad at this version, except for that glossy part. That's probably the only thing. Now, in terms of pricing, we're looking at 500 bucks for the disc version and 450 for the discless version. And you can buy the disc drive separately. I think it's going to retail for 79.99, so 80 bucks which might bring the cost, if you go for the digital version, it'll bring the cost up to 530 if you plan on buying it later. So maybe just start here, but who knows? Maybe you wanna save the 50 bucks and you'll never use this. Carl, you probably wish you could save 50 bucks and not yeah. go with this, this version. So this is the PS5 Slim, and we're gonna be covering all the things that PlayStation is dropping soon, the earbuds, the headphones, all of the hardware you're gonna be able to find here. So if you wanna see full reviews on all of that, make sure you're subbed to the channel. But till next video, guys, it's your average consumer, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Don't, 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 don't even remember that. Oh, you mean the old theme song? Oh my God, that's a throwback. Kudos.